Sunday evening on the farm here. It's uh, about six thirty in the evening. You can see just in the background, sun is going down behind the trees. Uh, we've had another glorious day of sunshine, wind, uh, lots of drying. So exactly what we want to see at the minute. Uh, ground conditions are improving all the time. Uh, this evening we're going to be having a little look at some new lights that we got up on the farm over the weekend, and also uh, chat about calving cows and calves. How it's going? A few calves over the last few days born. Uh, we'll have a look at those shortly, uh, but we're here now at the meal shed, which we've turned into a, a calf, a calf, calf and cow holding area. Uh, maximum we've had in it is about, I think we had nine cows and calves in it at one point, which was fine. Worked out well. A lot of bedding on it. You're continuously bedding all the time. There's only four in it at the minute. At the minute. You can see the front of it here is a little bit mucked up with the reading, but up the back there's uh, lots of straw, and uh, you know it's when there's four in it, you don't have to bed them that often. So. But yeah, everything is everything is working well with it. Happy with how it's playing out. Uh, I'd love to have another couple of pens or uh, another yeah another couple of uh, areas the same similar size to this to be able to store cows and calves in. It would be very useful. But anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, lighting, uh, new light went up here over the weekend. Uh, our electrician was out on Saturday and he put up a high beam light. So I don't know whether you can actually see it up there. You can see the white of it, but. Uh, yeah, a high beam LED light. Never any light in and here. It was always a bit of an issue because you were going in here checking cows and calves with a flashlight and uh, it wasn't ideal, especially in the darker days. It is brightening up a little bit now. The evenings are getting a little longer, so it's not as big of an issue now. But in the early parts of the calving when we put them in, uh, it was a bit of an issue. So uh, glad to have that light up. It made a really big difference on it. Also, in on the other side, in when the, uh, where we store the meal, it has brightened that up as well. So we kind of hung it just directly over the wall, so it shines a little bit then in on each side. So very happy with how that has worked out. Uh, we had a little bit of bad news on the farm over the last few days as well. Uh, we lost one of our one of our calves. He was almost three weeks old. Uh, lost him on Friday night due to meningitis, uh, which is something very new for us here. We've never had that before. Uh, the calf, Thursday we noticed him a little bit loose, just when he donged. Not very loose, was still very much pasty. Uh, the calf was very alert, everything seemed okay. So we just treated him in case that it was going to develop into anything a little worse. Keeping it tight end, and we've had absolutely no issues with scour so far. And uh, this was the first real signs of anything. So we said we'd get in there, treat him early, give him an antibiotic, uh, done everything that you should do when you see some a calf a little bit loose behind uh, and get it in the early stages. Uh, that was on Thursday evening. Friday morning, uh, calf was still a, a little bit a little bit loose, still pasty. It, it hadn't really deteriorated anything. So uh, and he was up drinking the cow as well, which was always a good is always a very good sign and very alert. Uh, treated him again, and we let him sit for a number of hours. We went away and done our daily business and walking away at whatever other jobs was going on. Came back on Friday afternoon around half three four o'clock. Checked him, and the calf was had deteriorated in a big way. Uh, he was laying down, couldn't get up, head outstretched. So knew this wasn't very, this wasn't right. Rang our vet, into the vets with him, and diagnosed straight away as having meningitis. So uh, they treated him. What they could do, they thought he might come back out of it. They said it was early enough, early enough uh, meningitis. Uh, it, they said it was diagnosed early enough the meningitis that he should recover. He didn't recover. He was dead within five hours. So a uh, bit of a pain when that happens, especially when uh, you get the calves out okay, but. These things happen sometimes. Uh, so, anyway, we'll move on from that. Uh, we've had, so, lights that we've had done. We had this light here put up. We also put a few more lights up along here. Uh, loading cattle in. You're usually loading them early in the morning when they're going. It's dark. Uh, we had one LED light up along the side here. So we put up two more further down, so more or less the same wattage roughly, uh, and it, it's a good job. I have a little bit of footage I took last night of it there, I'll stick it up. And you can see it really does brighten the whole, uh, the whole, the whole area here for loading and checking tags and all that kind of stuff early in the morning if you have to do it. So that was that, uh, moved on then, we'll go on inside and we'll have a look at the, the lighting that's been done in here. So. 
in the calving shed now and we've uh, this, these pens here have been all cleaned out you can see there's one of them here actually hasn't been bedded yet but yeah they've all been cleaned out uh, I did get a bit of footage cleaning out the bag pens mid in the middle of last week and these here then were cleaned out then just at the end of last week so uh, yeah it's great to have them all cleaned out it's the first time they've really been cleaned out since the, the calving started we did clean I think we may have cleaned these pens here out once uh, apart from uh, early on in the calving but it's the first time the back ones have been cleaned out so it's, it's great to have them cleaned out and uh, it's all new straw everything was re-limed you can see the lime around the walls as usual uh, just helps us trying to keep any infection down but um, yeah so that's that's kind of that uh, lights in here uh, we did the lights in underneath the loft they're just old uh, older fluorescent lights plenty of light out of them we didn't bother changing them what we've done was we've uh, stuck up you can see the one here and then there's another one here so there's just two here in the in the center uh, and look at it leaves it bright enough one of them's not even on here at the moment but yeah two of them on the center and then you can see we turn them on the other ones we put two rows uh, down uh, more or less kind of divided it into three sections so one third of the way in you have one light and then about two thirds of the way in you have the next light so it's, it's divided into three and there's loads of light now uh, you can see uh, like at times we needed at times we needed a flashlight in the back checking calves sometimes especially lately when so it was a couple of the lights had actually stopped working so uh, it has made a huge difference and very happy with how it has turned out Um have a little bit of footage here that I took last night when it wasn't just as bright and I'll stick that up now and you'll see it but yeah you can see that uh, walking down along the cows uh, loads of light and very easy now for checking cows that's in calf and or cows that maybe are going to calf um, and it is just it made a world of difference to the shed um, over the over the summer I uh, hope to get the shed washed out it hasn't been washed out uh, above walls if you like in a couple of years so go try and wash the roof down and wash then the two side gables down uh, and then the usual then is to wash uh, the walls and the floor down as well so hopefully it'll all it'll all make a big difference and uh, when you have the galvanized sheeting at the sides it's kind of a it's kind of a white color anyway when it's washed it reflects the light much better too and it'll brighten the shed up even more anyway on to the calving and what the newborn calves over the last uh, the last few days so first one we look at is this girl here uh, she is a uh, short horn blue short horn we've quite a few of these blue short horns which you don't see that often anymore they're an old breed uh, but make fantastic mothers now this one here she is a little bit on the jumpy side a little bit on the nervy side uh, but she is a calf let's see i'll go and get him off he's here asleep uh, calf is out of the hereford bull that we had last year after our charlie that was supposed to be infertile uh, turned he turned out not to be infertile uh, after we took him away from the cows uh, yeah this is one of the the shorthorn <coughs> the shorthorn hereford uh, cross calves now a lot of shorthorn on him you see a lot of white in him uh, but thanks nice calf uh, he's all the the hereford traits legs wouldn't be as big as the charlie is uh, he's a little bit smaller as well but He's grand, he'll, he'll grow into a nice calf. Uh, this is actually a half a calf, just from memory. I think, this, yeah, she is, she's a half a calf. So, uh, might even keep her on maybe as a replacement because her mother's not a massive cow. She's quite small if you look at her there. She's a bit nervous, but uh, fantastic milk. You can see her there. She's, look at these short horns. They were an old, an old dairy breed at one time. So uh, they usually are very good mothers, lots of milk. Uh, and fairly quiet as a rule. As I say, this one here is a little bit on the nervy side, but uh, you can walk with it. Um, so that's that's all. We'll, we'll have a look at the next one. Now, spin with the next one. If we can get him to stand still, he's here dancing around the pen. Uh, no mistake in this guy. <laughs> he, he wants to play with me. Uh, yeah, no mistake in this guy. He's uh, certainly uh, he's certainly got the the hair for breathing in him. Uh, we we can't actually stay with him. He's doing so much dancing around the pen. But yeah, fantastic form. This he was only born last night. Uh, very playful calf. 
and he seems to be taking quite the shine to me here. I don't know whether he wants to hit me or play with me. But yeah, great form. And again, another one of the uh, the old shorthorn breeds here. Uh, yeah, great, great cow as well. Uh, we have a number of these, and they're starting to get a little bit of age to them. And when they're in, when they're in good form and uh, producing good calves, uh, you don't want to you don't want to cull them off. Uh, a lot of these cows now are getting to they're around ten years old. The problem is when they get on like this, you're opening the door for you to run into hassle with them calving and and different stuff when they get older. Sometimes, so we'll see. So the final one that we have here is this limousine cow. She's actually out of her own herd. She's about five years old. Uh, no, actually six years old. This would be her fourth calf. Um, yeah, so six years old. She's got bit of an issue she this calf she's calf 10 days uh calf horn and calf are actually they've done their time here uh, which is our routine you know we do a couple of days up to 24 hours here if we can in these in one of these four pens we then move them across into the we have a pen out here that'll hold three cows three calves in front of the silage pet so they do a few days there and when the time is done there then they move straight across over into the the meal shed and they you know they've, at that stage they're they're four or five days old and old enough to get in and mix with the other calves. We have a strength to them. So that's kind of the idea in that. Um, so this girl was, had been through all that whole regime and was over in the meal shed. A uh, couple of days into the meal shed, we noticed that she was, uh, noticed that she was a little bit, she was losing a bit of condition, but that can happen sometimes with a cow and cow and the cow calves, you know, maybe for whatever reason, it takes a lot out of them, it takes them it could take them a week to recover. It's just normal. Um but then she bloated up, which isn't normal. Uh and we had to get the vet out. Now the vet uh said she had a twisted gut and we had to let's pull her around, put one of the the air release into it, you see it there. Um now She's releasing all her, uh, a lot of the gases out. You can actually I can hear it here when she's moving. Uh, now you put it into her and the air went down straight away as it always does. We incision, it's like a little corkscrew uh, set up on it, screws in, puts a couple of wee stitches in to hold it in place. Let's all the air out. As soon as it went out, cow settled down. Uh, she started to eat. She had a bit of meal that night. We would keep a tight eye on her to see if she'd passed any dung. And she did, she passed dung. The following that night actually the following morning there was fresh dung on the ground so that wasn't too bad she's got her appetite back uh, her, she had went off her milk a little bit uh, in those couple of days when she had after she bloated up or just before bloating up uh, she was still producing milk but not as much as she usually does um, so the calf was getting a little and often if you like rather than uh, the feeds that he needed uh, he wouldn't drink milk we tried him with a bottle a bottle wouldn't work so, um, yeah, in the days since, she's, her appetite has come back, her milk has come back, she's eating, she's doing everything that she should do. Uh, she hasn't improved that much body condition yet, but that's not going to happen overnight. Um, this is only the end of last week that all this happened. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on her. Hopefully, uh, that when we we'll give her another day or two, then we're going to, there's a little pinhole, a little hole in the in the corkscrew air release that uh, you can put a like a nail or something into it to to block it and hopefully when that happens that she'll uh, she'll not gas up again and that's what we'll, that's just what you have to hope at this stage uh, because if there is something wrong with our gut that she's not be able to get the gas out of our system then as soon as uh, you block that up she'll gas straight up so we'll just have to see uh, you could leave it in her for now until she rears the calf um, we'll look at we'll just have to see going forward what happens but it's one of the few things now that's happened to us but usually never have any issues with cows this year was one then we had another cow that went down after calving and uh, after the calving she oh it took her three or four days to get back up on her feet um, and that was the vet says Oh, memory card went full there. Yeah, the vet said that uh, it, it's more than likely that it was a bone that she damaged during calving, that she maybe stood up and fell back down then, uh, or uh, sat back down awkwardly. And probably was that, because like she eventually when she did get up, she was very stiff for a few days, but 
Uh, she, yeah, she's made a good recovery. She's still a little bit on the stiff side, but not too bad. She's able to get up and down. On, uh, when she gets outside, it should be a lot better for her. Um, hopefully, weather continues to be good now. And I think it is. It's shown that it's to be fairly good, I think, in the early days of next week. Uh, hopefully, if that continues, then we will uh, get some cows and calves out. We'll try and get some out. If we only, if we only got 10 out for now, grass. Grass isn't the most plentiful it's ever been for this time of year due to the weather conditions, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some of them out anyway. We'll see what happens. So that's really it. Um, that's a full update on calving. Uh, all other calves in the back are all doing very well. Uh, calves out in the shed, obviously where we were looking initially, they're all doing well. Um, just the, the loss of the, mel the calf with meningitis now was a bit was a bit of a sickener to be honest when you get them that far and for that to happen it's not it's not the best thing ever but so be it that's farming for you uh, so that's really it uh, we will be tomorrow i think i'm starting fertilizer i'm going to be putting fertilizer out on our uh, winter barley so you can join me for that i'll just take some footage of that tomorrow and i'll try and get that video up tomorrow night and um, so until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the sub button if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, ring the little bell beside this. It will give you notification every time I post a video. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. And comment down below if you have any comments or questions or anything you want to ask me. And I'll try to get back to you uh, if I can at all. We are fairly busy at the minute, so just not able to reply back as much as I usually am the last few videos. So, But I will try. I'll try to make a few comments maybe tonight uh, on some of the previous videos. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.